local, lethal, and loud. This is the Scooter McGee Show on News Talk 1310 KFKA. The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Welcome back, Gotham. Thanks for sticking around. Hour three of a Quantum News Network production of Scooter McGee's show. I am he. All the headlines now up at 1310kfka.com. The millennials, as it pertains to this electoral process, in particular the 2018 primaries, I brought up earlier in the 9 o'clock hour and the 10 o'clock hour. 9 o'clock hour is now up on YouTube over at 1310kfk.com on my social media. <laughs> hour 2 is loading right now, just very slow. <laughs> New York, the 14th Congressional District, the shocking upset. The Democratic Socialists of America. Um, they, of course, making headlines most recently with the shame, shame, shame. <laughs> Alexandria Cortez, the 28-year-old Latina running in her first campaign, ousting the 10-term incumbent from New York's 14th. It's the first time in 14 years a member of, again, I'm sorry, Representative Joe Crowley's on the Democratic side. This is the first time in 14 years a member of his own party's even attempted to unseat uh, Crowley. Yeah, part of the Queens County Democrats, if there is such a thing. But okay. I, I hate to go Gambino here. <laughs> Hey, Frank, you go yourself, all right? That's Queen's business. This is Brooklyn business. You go deal with yours. I'll deal with mine. <laughs> the result implications for Democrats nationwide. Optimistic for progressives, but for Democrats per se, this is not looking good. The blue wave is not going the direction they wanted, and they certainly did not foresee the Democratic Socialists of America taking the 14th, 14th, excuse me, the 14th Congressional District out of New York, a 10-term Democratic incumbent. 28-year-old first-time uh, political candidate running defiantly to Crowley's left. Crowley, of course, the first member of the House Democratic leadership to s- sign on in full support of Medicare for All. <laughs> and if you read into Medicare for All, as you listened to Mimi last night from Greeley talking about what happens on Medicare, Medicare means government takes all your money and then you get piss poor health care. <laughs> um. The breakdown of these numbers coming out of New York, and in particular the New York 14th. This is going to be interesting. But again, the millennials are going very much in a socialistic movement. They are not falling under the tent necessarily of the regular Democratic uh, Party, per se. Meanwhile, press secretary, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders now to receive Secret Service protection. This in the wake of the incident at the Red Hen over the weekend uh, when she and her husband and family were asked to leave the small Lexington, Virginia restaurant because of their role in the Trump administration. Um, Sanders really does not want to talk about it. And again, you want to go back into politics, how this looks. Go back to the West Wing when CJ was getting the death threat because you'd look really good in that Vera Wang. Um, 
This is crap. The White House press spokesperson now for, see, again, I'm so misogynistically programmed. Um, I don't care if you're a man or a woman who does the job. Uh, again, even under under Clinton, uh, for what it was worth, Dee Dee had her moments. <laughs> And as a comedian, they were awesome. But I digress. The reality is the is the is the is the serious soberness of this. All right. And you have to understand also the very delicate role. Most don't, but it, it's a very delicate role that the White House press secretary has. It's why the flak jacket keeps getting passed down to press secretary after press secretary. You have to walk amongst a, a sleeping pride of lions every day. And they may puff up at, at the most minutia. But we now have a political, camp or a political climate and a media campaign that's directed all in one direction. It is now spilled out into the ether of the public, if you will. And the bigger problem is the calls to violence. Democrats are buying guns at record numbers. Democrats are afraid that Trump is going to take them, which I find hysterical. And Democrats are also now afraid of an upcoming civil war. Have we missed a memo? Have we missed a memo somewhere? No. Maxine Waters is still out on the trail openly calling for violence. When called to task on her calls to violence, she rolls her eyes, speaks some gibberish, and then sticks her tongue out at you. She actually did that. But what is so sobering, again, whatever her code name is, this gets creepy. Because once given Secret Service detail, that kind of sets the precedent. That also established under POTUS 44 Obama. And who the... Am I kidding? That is a uh, precedent established in 68 under Bobby Kennedy. So, for the White House to have... Yep. No, well, we can't hide this. Why? Because she's going to be flanked now. She's already in the public eye. But the point of the press secretary is there are certain things that with inside the confines of the Oval Office that you don't give the press secretary, not so that she can lie, but plausible deniability that that's not what she's been told. So she or he is providing the best information they can at the time and again, a media is so hungry of wanting the who's, what's, where, why's now so they can go sell papers. When their job is to actually get a nugget, get a lead, go hunt it down, get your interviews, get your second sources, get them confirmed, and then run with the story, and I'll answer your questions. That's how it's supposed to work. And how Sarah can continue to even be able to execute her job at this point, and I'm not bagging on Secret Service. But Jesus, where does this stop? And the answer, it doesn't. Until someone is laying in a pool of blood. And that's what the Democratic Socialists for America at all want. This is what the progressives want. Get out of your car. Get a crowd. Get in their face. Tell them you're not welcome here anymore. You're not welcome anywhere anymore. That is the progressive tolerance from Maxine Waters. Confronting the <clears throat> not-so-distinguished lady from California, Maxine Waters, Laura Loomer, busted. Maxine, wide open, rolling her eyes, talking gibberish, and, and then sticking her tongue out at Laura. It must have been code for female empowerment or something. I'm not sure. That must-see viral video now up on my social media, 1310kfka.com. It's available both by... Uh, 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 Twitter and by Facebook. So a quick commercial break, and let's come back. Uh, uh, no, the only thing we missed is shallow moments. We're not going there. What? South Carolina. Yes, thank you. All right, from New York now to South Carolina. 
and their primary numbers. We'll take a look at those and more when we return. Live from the CRP 4x4 studios, more of a Quantum News Network production of Scooter McGee Show right here on 1310 KFKA. Stand by. Matt Rivette started in real estate just in time for the bottom to fall out of the market. And it turns out it was a good time to start. From day one, Matt Rivette had to do it right. Serve the client. Turn for sale into sold. 32 years later, we know market conditions will change. But Matt Rivette's commitment to you won't. This is a good time to get to know Matt Rivette at Pro Realty. List your commercial income or residential property with Matt Rivette. Call Matt Rivette at 970-356-1234 or go to ProRealtyHomes.com. What may be junk to you just might be another man's treasure. From stamps, sports memorabilia, silverware, or old jewelry, what may be junk to you just might be another man's treasures. Located at 2002 Ninth Street in Greeley, Another Man's Treasures can take these old items and convert them into cold, hard cash. Located at 2002 Ninth Street, remember Another Man's Treasure. So you think the Pawn Stars are in Vegas, huh? Have you been to City National Pawn? 3301 West 10th Street in Greeley and you're the Pawn Star. With great deals on commercial and industrial tools, electronics, smartphones, laptops, and fine jewelry, so many great deals and a constantly changing inventory guarantee you get the best deal in town at City National Pawn. Need quick cash fast? City National Pawn has got you covered there too. Monday through Friday and Saturdays, remember, you're the Pawn Star at City National Pawn, 3301 West 10th Street in Greeley. Well, I'm glad to hear Chris is okay. What's the condition of his car? It can be fixed. I'm just waiting to hear from my insurance adjuster as to where. We'll take it over to Auto Collision Specialists. They've repaired my cars for years. I wanted to, but my adjuster says I'll have to pay additional costs out of my own pocket to have it repaired at Auto Collision Specialists. Stop. You pay your insurance premiums in good faith every month with the expectation that if you have an accident, your insurance company will pay what's necessary to repair your car correctly. In many cases, that's not what happens. Scare tactics like threatening to make you pay out of pocket or not warranting the work are tricks that will not be tolerated at auto collision specialists. You can rest assured we have your best interests at heart and will do everything in our power to make sure your insurance company fulfills its commitment to you. Remember, insurance companies don't fix cars. We do. Auto collision specialists, we'll take care of that. Hey, you party animals and super fans out there. Greeley Westside Liquors got your party covered. Be the hit of your next party by calling 970-353-0036. That's 353-0036. Greeley West Side Liquor delivers to all of Greeley. Fast through the drive through and even faster by delivery from the friendliest folks in Greeley. Remember 30th and 10th Street? Remember Greeley West Side Liquor delivers after 4? Open 8 a.m. to midnight 7 days a week. And Greeley West Side Liquor is your party bowl central. Cutting-edge commentary from the edge of reality. The Scooter McGee Show is back on News Talk 1310 KFKA. South Carolina. Interesting numbers coming out for their primaries. A quick breakdown. Uh, Governor Henry McMaster now winning the GOP nomination from Governor John Warren. William Timmons now beating Lee Bright in the 4th Congressional District Republican runoff. And those numbers interesting. 
the 4th Congressional District. 98% of both precincts reporting as of what would be 121 um, Mountain Daylight Time for 627.18. William Timmons over Lee Bright. 36,888 votes to 31,076 votes. The Democratic side, same drill. 98% of their police precincts reporting in. Brandon Brown, 7,055 votes. And Doris Lee Turner, 4,300. Let me get this straight. In the 4th Congressional District in South Carolina, almost 68,000 Republicans showed up to vote. And only 11,000 Democrats showed up to vote. I'm missing something there in the red wave or the blue wave. For governor vote, South Carolina, 300,000 plus votes. 94% of the precincts reporting again accordingly now. 122 Mountain Daylight Time. South Carolina. Henry McMaster with 169,366 votes. John Warren with 151,469 votes. Flip both of those up to 500. So you got 169,5 and 151,5. Holy, holy. All right. But those numbers are primaries only. Whether or not this red movement continues and how they continue to talk off this blue wave and again primaries results now cbs abc reuters they are all trying to damage control the story now coming out of the 14th in new york and this is about an incumbent losing but they are also propping up now the democratic socialist party isn't this wonderful shame 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 has anybody seen my crayons Unbelievable. Maryland. All right. Not only South Carolina, not only New York. We've seen interesting movement across the United States as well as here in Colorado. Maryland voters now choosing former NAACP president Ben Jealous to challenge Governor Larry Hogan. Utah voters now giving former Massachusetts governor and presidential candidate Mitt Romney, the GOP nomination for Senate. Yeah, this coming off America's favorite four-color fish wrap, the USA Today. Um, again, Colorado making national headlines for tomorrow. Five-term Democratic representative Jared Polis will face State Treasurer Walker Stapleton now, Republican, in the race to succeed Democratic Governor John Hickenlooper, who's allegedly been appointed by Bilderberg to run for president in 2020. <laughs> and again, talking earlier tonight with Amy Oliver, Sherry Pife, at all. The Democratic primary here in Colorado, the second district. That in play, the Republican in the primary in the 5th District in play, the Democratic primary in the 6th District. But Maryland, these numbers, very telling. State election officials said as many as 80,000 people may have had to cast provisional ballots early today, primary day, (laughs) because of computer problems. Local election officials began examining those ballots on July 5th, The Democratic battle for the nomination for governor, this is Maryland, marked by a split among influential members of the party and the Democrats, and the Democrats seem to pick the favorite of the party's left wing. In a nine-person field, Prince George's County Executive Rusher Baker lost despite the support of U.S. Senator Chris Van Hollen and former Governor Paris uh, Geldingen. Jealous had the backing of Senators Bernie Sanders from Vermont, Cory Booker from Jersey, Kamala Harris of California. 
Maryland in play hard. Democratic and Republican primaries in the open seat for the 6th District, excuse me. Democrats nominate millionaire wine store owner David Trone, spending $13 million in his losing bid for the House seat just two years ago. And now already ponying up $9.5 million this year, he will face former Pentagon official uh, Amy Hover. Army veteran Jesse Colvin won the Democratic nod to face Republican Andy Harris on the state's eastern shore of Maryland. Mississippi. This one. Uh, take it for a deep breath and grain of salt. Up, oh, Trump's twittering again. He says, wow, big Trump hater Congressman Joe Crowley, who many expected was going to take Nancy Pelosi's place, just lost in the primary election. Yes, Mr. President to a Democratic Socialist. In other words, he's out. That's a big one that no one saw happening. Perhaps he should have been nicer and more respectful to his president. POTUS, Democratic Socialists. Hate to point out, mein Führer, I can walk, but I think I threw my neck out last night doing that. Back to Miss, sorry, that was a Trump tweet just coming in. Uh, so, Mississippi, the challenger to Roger Wicker will be the State House Minority Leader, David Baria. He defeated venture capitalist Howard Sherman in the runoff. Um, De Niro and Baldwin, of course, are two big fundraisers for Sherman. So. <laughs> And he's married to actress uh, Celia Ward. The Mississippi 3rd District, the district attorney Michael Guest, defeating business consultant Whit Hughes for the nomination to face Democratic State Representative Michael Ted Evans. That'll be here, of course, in November. Republican uh, Representative Greg Harper announcing in January he is stepping down now after 10 years in Congress because, for an interesting reason, he never planned on being a career politician and he didn't want to be... But again, New York in the 14th seems to be the talking point now for tomorrow. Uh, Crowley's upset is obviously shocking the Democrats nationwide, even though it's a Democrat who won. That's right, it's the Democratic Socialist Party. And again, uh, how can they attack her when she's... Yeah, and a minority to boot, so... I'm assuming they'll just, you know, trounce on Trump tomorrow. Um, but there's a breakaway of just few of the many states for the primaries going on. And again, I know a lot of you, you don't think this matters. Your vote doesn't count. You're wrong. It does. Um, if nothing else, to show the machine exactly what they are up against. Coming off of Yahoo and the Rothschild owned Associated Press. I'm sorry, Rothschild owned and controlled Associated Press. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi and the House Democrats now blocking veterans' health care bills because they care so much about the children and the veterans and your health care coverage and you being able to get affordable, affordable quality health care. But you just have to vote for them, that's all. Yeah, Democrats slowing the veterans' health care bill, Executive Director for Concerned Veterans for America. They'll be out uh, on the talk show circuit tomorrow. But uh, Nancy Pelosi and the crack staff continuing their never Trump, never, never, never. And Americans just vote for them, and then they'll get rid of him. Where have we heard that before? It's a beautiful world we live in. A sweet romantic place. Beautiful people everywhere. The way they show they Slight chance for afternoon thunderstorm is Wednesday, otherwise hot weather remains. Hello, I'm Matt Makins with your Colorado Zone. Channel 2's pinpoint weather forecast. Lows tonight with a mostly clear sky, cool off into the upper 50s. For Wednesday, sunny in the morning, hot in the afternoon with upper 90s and a few very low 100s. 20% chance of afternoon thunderstorms, however. On Thursday, into the 100s, 100 to 105. By Friday, a bit cooler, 95. 
This weather update is brought to you by North Range Behavioral Health. Visit northrange.org. Hey, you party animals and super fans out there. Greeley Westside Liquors got your party covered. Be the hit of your next party by calling 970-353-0036. That's 353-0036. Greeley Westside Liquor delivers to all of Greeley. Fast through the drive through and even faster by delivery from the friendliest folks in Greeley. Remember 30th and 10th Street? Remember Greeley Westside Liquor delivers after 4? Open 8 a.m. to midnight 7 days a week. And Greeley Westside Liquor is your party Bowl Central. So you think the Pawn Stars are in Vegas, huh? Have you been to City National Pond? 3301 West 10th Street in Greeley, and you're the Pawn Star. With great deals on commercial and industrial tools, electronics, smartphones, laptops, and fine jewelry, so many great deals and a constantly changing inventory guarantee you get the best deal in town at City National Pond. Need quick cash fast? City National Pond has got you covered there too. Monday through Friday and Saturdays, remember, you're the Pawn Star at City National Pond, 3301 West 10th Street in Greeley. Last time on the Hull Show. Listen, they've never made the playoffs back-to-back, and people are just kind of, they're fine. You're fine with the Rockies just being the Rockies. You're going to go to Coors Field no matter what. You're going to go hang out. You're going to go have a beer. You're going to go to the party deck. You're just okay with it, which I think sucks. I think that will continue to be one of the reasons why the Rockies maybe don't spend a lot of money on players because they don't need to. This has been the Hull Show Replay. For more, tune in weekdays from 11 to 1 on 1310 KFKA. Well, I'm glad to hear Chris is okay. What's the condition of his car? It can be fixed. I'm just waiting to hear from my insurance adjuster as to where. We'll take it over to Auto Collision Specialists. They've repaired my cars for years. I wanted to, but my adjuster says I'll have to pay additional costs out of my own pocket to have it repaired at Auto Collision Specialists. Stop. You pay your insurance premiums in good faith every month with the expectation that if you have an accident, your insurance company will pay what's necessary to repair your car correctly. In many cases, that's not what happens. Scare tactics like threatening to make you pay out of pocket or not warranting the work are tricks that will not be tolerated at Auto Collision Specialists. You can rest assured we have your best interests at heart and will do everything in our power to make sure your insurance company fulfills its commitment to you. Remember, insurance companies don't fix cars. We do. Auto Collision Specialists, we'll take care. Mental health and addiction issues affect one in four people. Most of us have faced a behavioral health challenge or love someone who has. North Range Behavioral Health Treatment Programs work. People really can recover and become stronger. They offer programs to help you and your family, no matter your age, in many Weld County locations, including crisis support services, a counseling center in West Greeley, and additional offices in Greeley, Frederick, and Fort Lupton. For information, call 970-347-2120 or in Southern Weld County, 303-857-2723. The problem with most gyms is, well, they're gyms. Double Diamond CrossFit knows what it takes to get the results you're looking for. CrossFit is high-intensity, short workouts designed to improve your core and cardiovascular strength. Double Diamond CrossFit has classes throughout the day with certified coaches. You show up, warm up, and build your better body, all with the support of the CrossFit family. Double Diamond CrossFit, on the corner of 59th Avenue and 10th Street in Greeley. Call 970-302-2024. And don't forget to ask how you can get a free week on us. Cutting edge commentary from the edge of reality. The Scooter McGee Show is back on News Talk 1310 KFKA. The following program is intended for mature audiences. This is Linda Moulton Howe, reporter and editor of EarthFiles.com. You are listening to The Scooter McGee Show on News Talk 1310 KFKA. Something's on your Welcome back, Gotham. All right, we broke this story regarding the lawsuit in California and Monsanto. Well, 
CBS News now wanting to put their own little spin on this. Yeah. And again, I know that the Monsanto story, that's on the Scooter McGee show now, set up on YouTube. Monsanto now facing its first trial over the allegations Roundup ingredient caused cancer. This is the CBS This Morning spin on this. Give a listen. California man dying of cancer just appeared in court claiming a popular weed killer made him sick. Now, watch. I'm doing a story from CBS News. This is news. YouTube will then say, I stole this, and they'll take the whole show down in the videos. (laughs) That's for quality control purposes and training and for your protection, which uh, sucks. Sorry. In the first case of its kind to reach trial, Dwayne Johnson is suing Monsanto, the maker of Roundup. The 46-year-old blames his 2014 cancer diagnosis on Roundup's active ingredient, glyphosate. He is one of the thousands of people nationwide reportedly accusing Monsanto of failing to, quote, exercise reasonable care to warn of the dangerous risks associated with use and exposure to glyphosate. Because they were busy suing every other farmer who wasn't using it to force everybody to use it. Now listen to the spin that the morning show peeps put on this. Denies the allegations. It says in a statement to CBS News, we have empathy for anyone suffering from cancer, but the scientific evidence clearly shows that glyphosate was not the cause. You're lying sack of crap. If that were the case, then the courts would never have allowed this You're in. Lying, steaming, stinking, nasty sack of liquid crap. That's not a non-denial denial. That's a bold-faced lie. But that's, of course, corporate spin. You and I do that. That would be a felony. That's a lie. We look forward to presenting this evidence to the court. You had your chance to present it before this would have ever gone to trial. Obviously, you didn't make your case. That's why it's now in the courts. Ricky Kleeman is here with us. Ricky, good morning. morning. Oh, good. A little legal analysis now from a hot mop that should have been put back in the closet about 25 years ago. What will this case hang on? Let's look first at the plaintiff, and then we must look at the defendant. Let's look at the plaintiff, but then we got to look at the defendant. (laughs) Have you seen the man sitting there? Um, Those scars are from the chemicals. There's no debating this. He's suffering based upon Monsanto's, again, no different than the tobacco industry and their decades of compliance of lies and spin and misinfo and disinfo and non-denial denials. There's nothing new here. But how CBS this morning is trying to spin this as well, we have to look at Monsanto. But now we got to look at the guy. (laughs) Have anybody checked the color of his skin? Anybody check at the scarring on his skin? That is kind of the big problem there. And the media now not wanting to really jump in and get on this story. Why? I don't know. How many networks, locals, regional, state, uh, national are accepting money for Monsanto advertising? God forbid we touch that story. We might lose revenue. God forbid a talk show host actually discuss it. That might be controversial. He might say something aggressive. Wow. Meanwhile, the Red Hen owner is still taking heat, especially now in the wake of the revelations that they rallied and chased the family to the other side of the street and causing more, uh, you know... Just following that Maxine Waters approach. Get your your friends together. Get them over there and just say they're not welcome. Well, it is now being reported that the owner of the Red Hen has now resigned from the Virginia Business Group after uh, booting Sarah Sanders out of the restaurant. Stepping aside from leadership of a local business group, um... The written email statements, considering the events of the past weekend, Stephanie felt it best for the continued success of Main Street Lexington, then she should step aside. Wow. 
President Trump, of course, coming in on this, chiming in on this regarding the uh, the uh, say forcible removal is wrong, but the request for removal of uh, Sarah Sanders Huckabee from the Red Hen. But the story was really only half reported. Anyway, interesting comments coming out of this, and uh, this off uh, Fox News will go with. <laughs> restaurant in Lexington, Virginia, kicked out White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders because she works in the Trump administration. Is this type of Trump-hating sentiment how the people in that area really feel? Lexington is our next guest's hometown, and he says that this behavior is not representative of the community. Here with more is Virginia House delegate and congressional candidate running for good lat seat is Ben Klein. You're lying, of yeah, that's enough of that. And again, a good property owner, Donald Trump, tweeting, pointing out they should be worried about their filthy canopies, doors and windows. And maybe working on a paint job versus uh, worrying about who's actually in their house. Oh, you are and kidding me. This is a coordinated weekly test of the broadcast stations of your area. Equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies is being tested. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado or severe thunderstorm, official messages would have followed the alert tone. This station serves Weld County and Larimer County. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system on News Talk 1310 KFKA. Well, that's good that the boss popped. Ex-boss, ex-boss. I was going to say, it's bad enough we had hail when it was 70 degrees at noon the other day with the chemtrails. If they were going to pull this EA at at this hour, I was going to start questioning things. Sorry. Let's try and keep our powder dry and just hope that the tents can survive Island Grove this year. You know, I've seen some crazy things driving across this great country of ours, but this one coming off CBS Miami is beyond reckless. Because just when you thought you've seen everything on I-95, last Sunday night, what is that? Last Sunday night, 8 o'clock. You got to love social media. I mean, I hate it, but I love it. Uh, Um... There's a car on the highway, well, Interstate 95, that would be a freeway, a highway. Yeah. What's going on there, Scooter? Well, man seen on the hood of a speeding black Mercedes-Benz southbound on the I-95 expressway. An engineering student shooting the video on his cell phone showing a man wearing a white tank top, black shorts, clinging to the hood of the Mercedes-Benz, speeding down I-95 while on his cell phone. In the video, you can, so check it out. This guy's on the hood, and the woman's driving the black Benz with one hand on the wheel and on the other hand holding the phone. They think they were talking to each other, putting, of course, themselves and their lives in danger as well as everyone around. They are just flying down the road. And I think of the stunt that I pulled with one of those automated, we had an automated little puppy, a puppy robot, just a little furry thing to walk. We put him in a dog carrier and we put him up on top of a car and I drove around the C-470, 470 I-25 loop to see how long it'd take for somebody to call the cops and have me pulled over. It's a true story, we actually did that on the morning show. The Twitter video, of course, going viral with over a quarter million views, 359,000 views as of 11.30 airtime. Florida Highway Patrol says they are investigating the incident. <laughs> um, they got the tag number. They got the light, make, and license model. The they just don't have the cell number of the guy on the phone. <laughs> and again, the, the, the video, I mean, this is kind of a funny one. Uh, unlike the dog who refuses to get wet to get a ball out of the... Yeah, is that, I mean... It's bad enough we've ruined a generation of children. Now we can't even get dogs to go do what dogs have been doing since dogs were dogs. 
Go get the ball. Go get the ball. <laughs> roof, roof. Don't want to get wet. <laughs> what? Labrador ret retrievers now are made out of snow, too? Sugar? Sorry? When the rain falls, you all think you're made out of sugar? Is that the problem? Wow. If you're just joining us, we're getting ready to get out of here. <laughs> Uh, what did I not hit anything? What do we got? God, we banged through a bunch of these. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, New York, Maryland, South Carolina, Montana, Utah, Colorado, Secret Service Sanders, Maxine Waters. Yes, the uh, Maxine Waters sticking her tongue out at people, questioning her calling for violence now up on my Twitter feed. <laughs> Oh, fallout. Again, we covered this story here earlier this week. Fallout now regarding the secret spy centers that are not so secret. <laughs> and, um, oh, yes, we missed this headline. Sorry, here was, this is in my dump bin. Uh, French President, of course, Emmanuel Marcon now held an intense meeting with His Holiness Pope Francis during his first official visit to the Vatican in the tete-a-tete between the Argentinian pontiff and Marcon. Um, it took place in the Vatican's library. It lasted 57 minutes, the longest between Francis and a head of state, discussing secularism, interreligious dialogue, and climate change. <laughs> With very free and intense exchanges is what's being described by uh, Vatican officials. After the meeting, Marcon said France will be one of the six European countries to take in some of the 230 migrants on board the NGO rescue ship Lifeline, which has been stranded for days now in the Mediterranean after being turned away by Italy. They're still focused on the Bilderberg blowout. After his meeting with Pope Francis, Emmanuel Marcon attended the ceremony. He's made an honorary canon of... <laughs> St. John Lateran, the Cathedral of Rome, the tradition dating back to the 15th century when the French state and the church were indistinguishable. French president said he was truly moved uh, by the honor in a speech afterwards. And Marcon's decision, of course, to attend the ceremony, drawing criticism in France, which is strictly secular under landmark 1905 law, separating the state from the church. So... <laughs> That's great, Marcon. You want to talk to the Pope about climate change, and that's great, Your Holiness, that you're all versed on climate change, but let's focus on the Vatican Bank scandal, and let's focus on getting rid of the pedophiles inside the Vatican and around the uh, archdiocese across the globe, shall we? Once you clean house inside, then maybe you can go outside and worry about saving the clouds and saving the planet. But yes, the biggest headline coming out of Utah, the Mitt Romney reboot. Capturing the nomination in the United States Senate race for Utah, 73% of the vote. 73% of Utonians think that Mitt Romney is still a good idea. And of course, it's that or a blue wave, which turns out not to be so how the left deals with this well we'll tackle those issues and more throughout the rest of the week and beyond headlines will be up at 1310kfk.com i'm scooter mcgee from the crp 4x4 studios let's take a quick commercial break play something mellow and get out of here what do you say all right but yeah the video of the guy riding on the hood of the mercedes on i-95 you got to look at it not car surfing. Maybe it's Polish car surfing. I'm not sure. Matt Rivette started in real estate just in time for the bottom to fall out of the market. And it turns out it was a good time to start. From day one, Matt Rivette had to do it right. Serve the client. Turn for sale into sold. 32 years later, we know market conditions will change. But Matt Rivette's commitment to you won't. This is a good time to get to know Matt Rivette at Pro Realty. List your commercial income or residential property with Matt Rivette. Call Matt Rivette at 970-356-1234 or go to ProRealtyHomes.com. Are you happy with your auto service or repair shop? Good. Stick with them, as we know how hard it can be to find someone reliable and efficient. 
For those of you who haven't found that dependable shop, here's a suggestion. Auto Tailor. They take the time to learn about the customer and their specific wishes for their vehicle. They won't assume you want X done when all you really need is Y. If the customer isn't happy, Auto Tailor's not happy either. Given an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau, Auto Tailor is the smart, reliable choice for your vehicle. Call 353-3401 or visit them online at autotailor.com. So you think the Pawn Stars are in Vegas, huh? Have you been to City National Pawn? 3301 West 10th Street in Greeley and you're the Pawn Star. With great deals on commercial and industrial tools, electronics, smartphones, laptops, and fine jewelry, so many great deals and a constantly changing inventory guarantee you get the best deal in town at City National Pawn. Need quick cash fast? City National Pawn has got you covered there too. Monday through Friday and Saturdays, remember, you're the Pawn Star at City National Pawn, 3301 West 10th Street in Greeley. What may be junk to you just might be another man's treasure. From stamps, sports memorabilia, silverware, or old jewelry, what may be junk to you just might be another man's treasures. Located at 2002 9th Street in Greeley, Another Man's Treasures can take these old items and convert them into cold, hard cash. Located at 2002 9th Street, remember Another Man's Treasure. Last time on the Hull Show. Listen, they've never made the playoffs back-to-back, and people are just kind of, they're fine. You're fine with the Rockies just being the Rockies. You're going to go to Coors Field no matter what. You're going to go hang out. You're going to go have a beer. You're going to go to the party deck. You're just okay with it, which I think sucks. I think that will continue to be one of the reasons why the Rockies maybe don't spend a lot of money on players because they don't need to. This has been the Hull Show Replay. For more, tune in weekdays from 11 to 1 on 1310 KFKA. The problem with most gyms is, well, they're gyms. Double Diamond CrossFit knows what it takes to get the results you're looking for. CrossFit is high intensity, short workouts designed to improve your core and cardiovascular strength. Double Diamond CrossFit has classes throughout the day with certified coaches. You show up, warm up, and build your better body, all with the support of the CrossFit family. Double Diamond CrossFit on the corner of 59th Avenue and 10th Street in Greeley. Call 970-302-2024. And don't forget to ask how you can get a free week on us. Hey, you party animals and super fans out there. Greeley Westside Liquors got your party covered. Be the hit of your next party by calling 970-353-0036. That's 353-0036. Greeley Westside Liquor delivers to all of Greeley. Fast through the drive through and even faster by delivery from the friendliest folks in Greeley. Remember 30th and 10th Street? Remember Greeley Westside Liquor delivers after 4? Open 8 a.m. to midnight 7 days a week. And Greeley Westside Liquor is your party bowl central. Cutting edge commentary from the edge of reality. The Scooter McGee Show is back on News Talk 1310 KFKA. The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. I'm either one second short or 19 seconds long. From the CRP 4x4 studios, I am Scooter McGee signing out. Good night, Gotham. I work to survive. I sleep in a fever So this is my life Cry in my sleep Cry boy, cry boy Just makes me weep when I try How I try Know what it means to work hard on machines It's a labor of love So please don't ask me why Working for Trying too hard. He's trying too hard. Moving in circles.
Special thanks, first of all, First Lady of Northern Colorado, Amy Oliver, Sean Conway, Sherry Pipe. Congratulations to all who were successful tonight in the Colorado primaries. And a special thanks to, of course, Scott James. Now go back to work. It teaches us to accept our failures as well as our successes with quiet dignity and grace. Son of a I'll get you for this. What did you do to me? What did you do? I don't want to live. I do not want to live. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, the opinions, views, and ideas expressed on this show, unless my guests said them, I guess you can blame me. But take them with a deep breath, the grain of salt, and the shot of your choice in that order. In the meantime, find me on the World Wide Web, 1310kfk.com. Uh, you can add like me or even block and stalk me on social media. In the meantime, uh, boys and girls, remember paranoia is patriotic. Uh, if we don't see you out, of course, for the Greeley Stampede at Island Grove Regional Park, we'll see you back here tomorrow night starting at 9 o'clock. Unless all of you wind up melting tomorrow. Stay cool. Keep your powder dry. Hail the Republic. What may be junk to you just might.